Hello guys, this is Silvershade and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your terminal colors on Termux. So first of all, you need a text editor. I'm going to use Micro, so I'm just going to show you how to install it in case you don't have any text editor yet. So I am in the GitHub homepage of Micro and there is this link. I'm just going to copy it. Okay, and then in Termux, I'm going to cd to my user slash bin directory. I'm in my home directory right now. So I am in my bin directory. I'm just going to paste that command. Okay, that should be it. Our micro is now installed. I'm going to cd back to my home directory and then if I list it, we have this folder called dot termux. If you don't have it, just create it. Use mkdir dot termux and it will create it. And then we are going to cd to dot termux. So if I list this, I have font.ttf. If you have seen my last tutorial, how to change your font on Termux. So over here, you'll have to create a new file called colors.property. So touch color colors.properties. Okay, once you make that, we're gonna open that file so we just install micro micro colors.properties so we have opened our file okay so to see the shortcuts in micro just press alt g so you get all the shortcuts and you can press it again to close it okay so first of all i'm gonna teach you how to change your background and foreground which is pretty easy so in this file you just have to do background and then colon and then you put any hex value here so i'm gonna put something kind of gray so 3c 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 and then i'm gonna save it so Control s and then i'm gonna quit Control Q. And then once you create, once you edit that file, you just have to use this command called termux hyphen reload hyphen settings. And then press enter. It's going to change your background color. And to change the foreground color, it's the same. You just have to use foreground colon and any color i'm gonna use something like aqua just to show you um, zero zero ff ff control s control q and then termux reload settings again and our foreground color has changed okay so now for other colors like this dot termux you're seeing right here it's darkish blue i have a website open here which i found so if you scroll down here you will find a table which says which color corresponds to which one so you don't have to use color zero and color one for foreground because we use the word instead for all the other colors you have to use color number so for example i'm going to show you one color three corresponds to fifo files i don't know what it means but they've given an example okay so okay i'm just going to use that command and see what happens mk fifo test and then if i do dir okay so this is a fifo file apparently right it's medium brown and it's called color three 
So we're gonna open colors.properties again. And then we're gonna do color three colon and I'm just gonna make it red, right? FF0000 control S control Q and then reload settings. Okay, so it's red now. That's how you can change any color. So I'm gonna put the link of this in the description. Let me just show you another one, right? Color 12 corresponds to directories. It says light blue, but it's not light blue. It is directories. So I'm gonna go back and then specify color 12 to be maybe green zero zero ff zero zero control s control q and then termux reload settings again and you can see that our directories have turned green okay so i think that's enough examples i'm just gonna go back to normal so okay i'm just gonna delete colors.properties and then i'm gonna reload settings and everything is normal now in case you want to do that thank you for watching guys this was how you can change the colors in your termux terminal